Hi, this is Cassie with IMG. Today I'm going to teach you about dynamic lists and static lists within Pardot. So first let's jump into Pardot. Here under the prospects tab, you're gonna navigate over to segmentation lists. So let's add a new list. First, you would create your list name here. You can also choose a folder to categorize your list if you'd so like. I'm going to skip that test for this example. You can also add tags and choose what type of list you want. So in this case, um, we're gonna do a static list first. So in order to make our list a static list, you do not have to check off any of these items and you can just hit create list. Great, so now our test list is created and to actually add prospects to this list, you can go to the import option import your CSV file. And when you're given the option to choose where this list should go, you would choose to add it to the static list you created. Static lists can be used in list emails and also engagement programs. So a static list is just as that. It's static. It can't change dynamically unless you add prospects to it manually. On the contrary, if I go back here, let's create another list. Let's create an, a dynamic list. Let's do that, test two. So again, same options, but the main thing we have to see here is we need to check off dynamic lists. And this will allow us to create rules and criteria that will pull data directly into this list. So your main thing here is you need to check off dynamic list and let's set our rules. Okay, right off the bat, you're gonna see two options, match all and match any. And this is gonna give you your and or or criteria. So let's create a list for mailing everyone in our database. So this would be all mailable prospects. So as you can see, I have a lot of options here for um, criteria. So in this case, I'm going to email status is not opted out. And we're gonna add another rule. And as you can see, we have an and here. If we wanted it to be an or, where it would be matching any, you can just toggle back and forth here. So let's add a second rule. So you'd have to meet both of these to fall into our dynamic list that we're creating. So email status is not, do not email. So this is going to create a dy dynamic list of everyone who is not opted out and who is not set to do not email. Let's do another example. Let's say I want to reach out to everyone in Boston. So that would be a default field. City is a default field. So prospect default field, city. And I want to do an exact match in this case. So you can do is rather than some other options, which would be contains. So contains will allow you to capture things like upper and lowercase and maybe some abbreviation. So if we did BOS rather than Boston, but in this case, I want an exact match for Boston. So let's do is Boston. In addition, you can add um, more than one city in this line too. So let's say I wanna pull Boston and Providence here in Rhode Island. So you can do the key here is using a semicolon. So with the use of a semicolon, you can create multiple lines um, of criteria to pull from in just one one line rather than duplicating and adding a new rule for every um, option you want to pull from. Another interesting thing about dynamic lists is the option to pull in rule groups. So that is the way to combine and and or statements. So let's add a new rule group. And you can see here now you have the option to kind of drill down into and and or statements within the same dynamic list. So as you can see, there are a lot of options to choose from when creating your dynamic list. So I suggest playing around in here and really seeing what suits your needs. Again, we can pull in prospect default fields as well as custom fields. So if the um, field does exist in your Salesforce org, you can map that field over into Pardot and then create lists based off of that data. So once your list is created, there's a few different things you can do. So you can preview, 
gonna ask me to choose something, so I'm gonna delete that. We're gonna preview, and you can preview matches. This typically takes a minute or two, so I won't do this for the example, but you would preview your matches, and it will generate um, a preview of all the prospects who match that. And then your other option here is to run the rules. So it will ask you, do you want to run? You hit yes. And once you run your um, dynamic list, now this list is forever growing. So as soon as anyone falls into my criteria that I've created, they're now going to become a member of that dynamic list. Same goes for the opposite. If they fall out of that criteria, they'll be removed. Dynamic lists are great for use in things like engagement programs because as soon as someone falls into that criteria or out of that criteria, they're going to be entered or pulled out of your engagement program. Same, they can also be used for list emails um, as well. So any um, need to reach out to your prospect, a dynamic list is my suggested way to do so just because it's really an automated process. If you have any other questions about dynamic lists, please reach out. Thank you.